Hello, welcome back to another video. Ooh, can I position you that you're not actually going to fall down? So, this is going to be episode two in my little trying to conceive series on here, or diary, trying to conceive diaries, I think is probably what I'm going to call them. I wanted to talk in this little vlog about um, cycle tracking using an app and or your diary. Um, the one that I use, the one that I like, this is absolutely not paid. I have used various different ones over time. It's just a way of jotting things down as opposed to them being like in your diary, your handwritten diary or your notes. But um, that I'm going to talk about the way that I'm exercising and the way that I am eating specifically. And if this is the first time that you are here, thank you so much. This is a little bit new, a little bit fun. We are trying to conceive our fourth child. I am a mama to an 11 year old, a four year old, a two and a half year old, and we have had three losses. I had to think for half a second there. Um, every time we decide to try for another baby feels hard. It feels heavy. It feels a lot. Um, trying to conceive after loss is no joke. If you have been there, I, I feel you. I'm giving you a big squeezy hug. And I hope that this little like vlog series will help you feel a little bit less alone. I wanted to, I talked briefly in my last video about um, the things that we are doing to help kind of track our cycles to, or our, our cycles, my cycles, the ways that I do that in terms of cervical mucus, uh, cervical positioning, temperature tracking, and ovulation sticks. So um, I thought I'd dive straight into just like showing you where I am in my app. So today I think is day 16. I've got my phone here and I'm going to pull up. It is the Clue app that I've been using and it is just their free one. It's not anything jazzy. So here is where we are today, which means we are day 17. I'm expected to have my next bleed in about two weeks. So this would put me at day 12 when I would ovulate. Somewhere between day 12, day, day 11 and day 13. Um, my periods are very regular. I should give a little bit of a background here. This is quite waffly. I am still nursing two, my two babies, my four-year-old and my two-year-old. But my cycles returned when I started really focusing on self-care. So um, my background being um, as a lactation consultant, but also as a nurse and as a birth worker, a birth and postpartum doula, an antenatal educator, I am very into like holistic wellness, holistic motherhood, gentle parenting. I'm a, like a little bit crunchy over, we do things a little bit crunchy over here. So a little bit of cloth diapering, full-term nursing, whole foods, that kind of thing, closer to nature. Um, and so when I addressed my stress, my sleep, all of that, um, my cycles returned, even though I'm nursing two babies. So I do a lot of consults now for those mamas who are trying to conceive, who are trying to get their cycles back while still nursing. So if that is you, email me down below and I would love to help you out. But today we're talking about the tracking. Um, so what we have been doing. So you, this is really nice because you can track so many things. You can track your cycle. <laughs> My phone is so grubby. You can track how you're feeling, so like mood swings. Are you feeling happy? I put in happy today. Sad, sensitive. If you've got any pain, so pain-free, period cramps, ovulation, breast tenderness, headaches, migraines, lower back, um, vulvular pain. How was your sleep? You can track that, like how many hours you slept that night. Um, sex life, whether it was protected, unprotected, um, withdrawal, no sex today, high sex drive, um, whether you masturbated that day, how your mental health was, how you're feeling socially, cravings, sweet, salty, greasy, carby, how was your skin, your basal metabolic temperature, ovulation tests. So I find this really helpful and this is the free one. So if you're interested in tracking your cycles in some way, shape or form, or you want like 
to have somewhere to start, that can be a really helpful place. So I love that app. I also have used the Ovia one um, with my pregnancies. Um, so I just like jumped straight from tracking to like a pregnancy app. Uh, I don't think I used a pregnancy app on my last pregnancy. Um, I just was very much like enjoying it and trying not to feel like too stressed by any of those things. Um, so the other thing that I've been addressing then, so that's tracking with it an app. The next thing is my exercise and eating. So I used to be very into intermittent fasting, very into like skipping breakfast, having a dedicated fast in my 24 hours. So I would maybe like stop eating at like 8 p.m. and then I wouldn't have breakfast until like 1, 1 p.m. And for me, that was a good way of like, managing weight, giving my body a chance to like restore and be healthy in that way. Now that I'm in a period of, lol, no pun intended, trying to conceive and also like nourishing my body, I treat it as if it is already pregnant. So that means that the way that I eat has to reflect that to maintain balanced sugar levels, balanced cortisol levels. I notice it very quickly in my day where I am not eating regularly. So that means for me eating breakfast, that's a new one. And if you've checked out my previous video where I talked about how I'm balancing my hormones naturally and how I support other mamas in doing so, I'm big on eating protein and fats with your breakfast. So typically I will have like eggs on toast with loads of butter or um, some other variation of that like French toast and dippy toast, dippy eggs rather. And then I will also make sure that I have my coffee later in the day. So I used to drink like, or normally would drink like black coffee straight first thing in the morning. And I actually love that. I really look forward to that. But now that we are trying to conceive, I try to reduce my caffeine just a wee bit. Um, and if anything, just try and not have like naked caffeine. So I will have it with like full fat milk and I will have it after my breakfast. So that's been really important to me. And then outside of that, just making sure I'm getting enough calories and enough fat and protein throughout the day. I also try and address my water intake in so much as certainly drinking enough, but also not having naked water. So for me, that means drinking um, adrenal cocktails throughout the day, making sure I'm getting my potassium, magnesium and sodium in because we all know that with stress, it's the first things that are gobbled up or I will add in um, like a little electrolyte tab. Um, sometimes I do like half orange juice, half coconut water, if I just need like a little pickup during the day, that's been really helpful. And then the other thing that I wanted to address in this wee little vlog was the way that I exercise. And so I used to be very much into like hit workouts, like 10, 15 minute, 20 minute workouts, get in, get my heart rate up, get a workout done, get really sweaty, and then like come back to being balanced again. And that does not work when you are trying to conceive because when we're looking at our overall stress levels, we are looking at not just the stress, like mental stress, whether it's like work-related stress or maybe relationship stressors, we are looking at the stress that we are placing on our bodies. And so the way that our bodies perceive exercise that is done in a way, in the way that interval training is or HIIT workouts are, that is perceived as an internal stressor. So for me, the way that I do workouts now is slow, steady state cardio. So nice long walks, swims, maybe a little bit of running and resistance training. So slow paced, heavy weights. And that has been working beautifully for me for managing my blood sugar levels. Um, so for any of my PCOS um, or insulin resistant mamas, that can be really helpful. And um, also just really great for like blood flow to that whole region, the pelvic region. Yoga is really beautiful. Lots of inversions. Um, I do a yoga class on a Wednesday that is really, really nice and has a lovely meditation at the end. So beautiful for stress levels. Um, but I might talk about that in a separate video. So that is the way that I am eating, the way that I am exercising, and the way that I am using an app to track my cycles in order to conceive, hopefully soon. If you've stuck around for this little chatty video, thank you so much, and I hope to see you in the next one.